ladies, today we're getting back into the Disney Princess Challenge with Merida. If you missed last episode, we uh, Belle and Beast had their baby. They gave birth to Merida. And also we have the triplet boys, Harris, Hamish, and I want to say Haggis, but it's not. It's Harris, Hamish, and Hubert. Um... Um, and of course we have Merida and she's a little child now, but in today's episode she'll be turning into a teen and she'll be doing a couple more training kind of sessions with her mom and then I think we can go ahead and throw her into her life of fighting back suitors and learn how much of a fiery little, little spicy redhead girl she is. So her mom wants to train her in a couple more things. Um, Oh, oh gosh. Pardon. There we go. Now the sound's coming through. I had my uh, my speakers still connected, my bad. <laughs> oh my goodness. But I think we're good there. Um, also, I added two new people to the family. I remembered after we had started last stream, that uh, Merida's family also has two Irish wolfhound dogs. Um, and while I don't really remember their names in the movie, I just, I just added two of the breed. So we have Dougie. We have du <laughs> Dougie. I, I keep calling him Dougie, though. Dougie. And we have Lassie. So those are the two uh, dogs that have entered into the family. So we have... Of course, we have Angus, McBangus, and we also have Agnes, who's her mom's horse, and now we also have Dougie and Lassie. <laughs> so they have joined the family as well. Maudie, I have set up a couple tasks for, oh, I had set up a couple tasks for you. Can you please go do them? I, I really need you to attend to these things. Oh, apparently we are growing a trash plant, and I don't want that. <laughs> So let me have Maudie go ahead and take care of the chickens before you guys all yell at me that my chickens are being neglected. All uh, right, where are we at? So let's take a look at the skills that Merida has first here. Also, let's go ahead and just jump right out of the gate with a safe. You know why? Because, um, why not? <laughs> just to test my game and make sure it's ready to start the day. Once again, um, I'll like, I'll take a save reminder every every like 15 minutes tonight, just because of how last stream went. So, <laughs> or after anything, we'll say important happens. Ooh, submit the pancake with that 50 stream streak. Woo. <laughs> Does anybody have a better streak than submit the pancake? I don't know. It'd be hard to believe. Oh, let's see. So she has creativity four, mental one, and motor skill six. But her actual skills are charisma one, piano two, singing two, and horse riding two. So we're gonna have to work on her charisma today. And what's a what's another skill that you think that uh, Merida's mom, Belle here, would want Merida to work on? What what little princessy activities would kind of meet that for her? Also, where's the boys? So we got Hamish. Hubert's over here out on the bridge still. And Harris is in here with Hamish. And they are still werewolves right now. I do, I should humanify them. I'm scared to, honestly. Let's do autonomy back on. That way the triplets can move around and cause mischief. <laughs> I can't wait to age uh, Merida up to a teen and then have the boys be children. Because then I feel like they can really get into it. Oh, embroidery or knitting. Can a child do that? Can a child knit? Can children knit? That's a good activity. We'll have, well, yes, because uh, stitch work at least. Minimum. We got to have Merida try stitch work. But knitting would be a really cute activity. I don't remember, I don't remember what children's sims can all do because the sims is so wishy-washy about the different things and the different skills they actually let kids do. I guess which one looks more homely. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, not that it matters. It's literally gonna go in her freaking 
Let's put it up in her... No, 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 no. We said that this is kind of like the, the home lessons room. So we'll put it in here. And then where is the stitch work ones? Here it is. Uh, probably should grab a mirror so she can practice charisma. And then probably make her read a book or two. And then I think that should be like the main skills that we kind of focus on. And then we'll go ahead and age her up into a uh, child. Well, it's gotta be a fancy mirror, doesn't it? You know, this is an era where people didn't make weird, or <laughs> they did make weird stuff, but they didn't make cheap stuff. You know, they made high quality crap. All right, Merida apparently is watching the Magic Globe, or while well, she plans on watching the, ma the Magic Globe. So sad for you, though, Merida. You're going to have to go and do some lessons as order of your mother. So let's see. Can she knit? <gasps> she can! All right, Merida, come sit here. You sit here, too. And, like, there are certain skills that Sims can mentor people in, but maybe they have to be adults to do it. All right. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm sorry. Also, we forgot. Merida has to put on her special dress when she does lessons with her mother because her mother's trying to raise a little princess and Merida... <laughs> <laughs> is not into having to have her hair done and, you know, kind of brushed out and pulled back and wear this fancy dress that her mother makes her wear as well. Because like I said, the reason Belle is doing this is because she wants Merida to grow up with uh, better skills. The animal clothing. Oh my gosh, can we make something for a chicken? <gasps> oh my God, we can. Yes. Okay, please make this for the chickens though. <laughs> She's just trying to have Merida grow up and be more ready to be a queen because Belle was just kind of thrust into being a queen. You know, she went from being a peasant to being a queen. And excuse me. What? What is? Why? Is that the knitting string? Oh my God, it is. So her mother got her started, we'll say, on this knitting project and has now instructed her to move onwards. <laughs> they have to be a high level for them to mentor them. Well, see, she is a high level in, I think what I had her with the piano skill, I was trying to have her mentor her. And she has piano skill level nine and she still couldn't mentor her daughter. Ooh, we should have them play chess together. Okay, we have to have them play chess as well. <laughs> I've been impaled. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You know what, guys? Everybody, I would like to know, those of you that are uh, in the comments right now, what is a game besides The Sims that you are currently interested in playing? Or a game that you, you know, you find yourself playing? If it's something other than The Sims, because we know everybody here is a Sims person. <laughs> but what is a game that you guys are interested in playing right now that's not The Sims? Why am I so freaking orange? Sure, that's better. I guess I'll save while I'm in that screen. Um, Stib says they're playing Stardew. Grace said, or Gase Paul says, Animal Crossing, Luna says Disney Dreamlight, Disney Dreamlight, Mandy Love. Minnie Mittens is playing that GTA. Manders is playing Spyro, Disney Dreamlight Valley, and Animal Crossing. All good games. Yeah. I'm sorry, honey. Did you finish that knitting project? I think we're all here to know. No, you need to finish it, Merida. I've been playing the old PS2 and PS3 games. Nice. We have to have the full skill. <laughs> Manders. Oregon 
trail. Okay. Okay, I see you. <laughs> um, currently, the game I've been playing, when I don't want to play Sims, obviously, because I do it, you know, for my livelihood, the game that I have been playing um, when I don't want to play Sims right now is Palea. I've been back on that Palea grind. By the way, it's P-A-L-I-A. -A. Um, I've been playing that game. And the best part is it's free. So if you want to play it, this is a fun game. It's an online game. Uh, so you do have to have internet to connect. But it is a lot of fun and it's free and I enjoy it. And it just came out on Steam. Um, and if you download it onto Steam, which like I said, it's free. Um, if you download it on the stream, I think before April 25th, you get this giant frog plushie that you can put in your, like, house in the game. Not in real life, but it's uh, for your uh, your household plot. You can get, like, it's like the size of a house. <laughs> Ugh, how did Harry Potter go last night? Fifth one was not my favorite. I think the fifth one is the first time I watched the movie and I was like, meh. At the end of it. Um, one, two, three, and four, I all very much enjoyed of Harry Potter, but now I'm learning that the rest of the movies are just kind of expressy depressy. And <laughs> now everyone was telling me that I just have to live their trauma with them and suffer with them. So <laughs> I recently went down a virtual villagers rabbit hole. Ooh, I used to play um, My Village or something like that. But they, like, discontinued the game, and I was really upset about it. I think it was called, like, My Village, something like that. My Village, My Villagers. But I used to like a game like that, too. I had, a, I had surgery on my left wrist a week ago, so Sims is the only game that I have that I can play at the moment. No! <laughs> my spouse is big into Baldur's Gate. Stellaris and Pixel sh sh Starships. Good lord, I can't say that. Yes, you need to finish the series. <laughs> yes, it does get pretty upsetty spaghetti. No, I don't want upsetty spaghetti. Okay, so Merida did just finish. Oh, of course they're all a freaking sleep right now. Okay, well, she finished her one project, so she's got to move on to the next thing right now. Oh, wait, no, she has to get to level two of those skills. Crap, her knitting, her knitting, her knitting, her knitting is only level one, but she's almost level two. So let me have her knit one more project. Let's, let's have her knit this one. All right, one more. Don't worry about what that, that wants you to do. Worry about what I'm telling you to do. Go do another knitting project. I want her to get to level two in at least a couple of different skills. You know, that way she gave an attempt at whatever her mom was trying to teach her. Um, I do want her to finish the project, though, since we started it. So I'm going to have her finish it. Um, I saw this, the, the last movie, I think, of the Harry Potter series when I was, like, when it first came out. It was in movie theaters still because my cousin was super interested in Harry Potter and she made me go to it. And I knew nothing about Harry Potter. I had never seen it. And so I just dove straight into the movies watching the very last one. And I was like, I don't like this. It's really sad. <laughs> so I am not looking forward to the last movie. Simply because I've seen it once before um, when I was young. So I don't, I didn't, and I had no idea what was happening. I knew of Harry Potter, didn't know what he was about or anything like that. So maybe this time going into it and seeing the very last one, I'll have more perspective and it'll mean more to me. I know, you guys will definitely not let me not finish it. Ooh, hold on, hold the phone. Chessa, please! Hi, welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid. Also, GM Scott, thank you so much for first time chatting. Hi, thank you so much for the raid. I'm Hayes Mandy. I play The Sims 4. Um, currently, we're doing the Disney Princess Challenge, and we are currently on Princess Merida right now, and she is working on her skills as requirement by her mother who is trying to form her to be the best little princess that she can be, even though she hates it. She'd rather do archery and ride her horse. <laughs> but um, thank you so much, uh, Cheza. If, uh, I hope I'm saying your name right. If you need a raid and run, I totally understand. Thank you so much for entrusting your lovely community in my hands, though. 
Um, go check Chesa out, though, if you guys can. Shout out to Chesa. All right, has she gotten to level uh, skill two? Um, I guess I should look over here, should I? <laughs> I mean, can you just imagine her giving a speech to you guys like this? Wibba, 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 bush. <laughs> can you remind me which Disney princess rules you are following? So... The technical answer for this is, I am following this uh, Disney Princess Challenge created by Miss Playing. Um, I am following her rules, or their rules, technically, but I don't like how... How open-ended they are, to me, I want more of structure. I want more of a guideline. So I made up a lot of what I'm doing as well. So <laughs> I've added a lot of new things and I've changed to the story. Just because, to me, I don't like the object objectives of certain princes princesses. But I keep things somewhat the same, but I just add more to it. To make it more like their actual stories in the movies and such like that. Woo! Oh. Have we saved? We, I've saved a bunch of time so far, yeah. <laughs> I would be dying on the ground of laughter if she gave me this speech. Whistle, whistle, chisa, chowana. <laughs> Especially with her jumping around and all these hand gestures like that. She's almost done though. She's almost at charisma level two and that's all we needed her to do. We just need her work on two skills today and then she is free to go and do whatever she else wa she wants for the rest of the day. So she did just finish up that skill. I'm saving, I'm saving a lot just because my game crashed so many times last time. <laughs> so I'm just playing it safe and saving whenever I get the chance. Oh my gosh, my game finally caught up. I love being able to see that difference of when it's like slightly behind and lagging behind itself to all of a sudden it catches up and the movements are just more crisp. Like I can see the difference when it happens. Let me know if you caught that. Do the boys have bear outfits? Nope, not yet. Uh, the boys have not, we have not had the bear part of the storyline yet. So we haven't done that quite yet. Don't mind the fact that our dad is a beast. Marty! Oh, look at Marty over here. Look at you. She is just, she is just going away. She's got a taco and she's got maybe a picture of one of the boys giving her an apple. I don't know, maybe two. Oh my gosh, if she does three of them, I'll laugh. <laughs> Maddy, so cute of you to be doing that. I love how she's just doing that. I just didn't expect her to be standing behind Merida doing so many of these. I like how she just like has them cascaded around the floor. <laughs> All right, Merida. She's already changed and off getting herself a little snack, it looks like, down here. I saw the change. My game never looks that crisp. <laughs> wow, Dad's a spicy boy. Yes, Dad. Well, I mean, so the Dad is actually the Beast from Beauty and the Beast. Um, he is now in his human form, but he is still technically a werewolf, uh, which is what I had him for his beast form. Um, so why is he just walking back and forth? Oh, it's because he's trying to check a toddler. Organoid. All right. Well, apparently all the boys are tired. So let me have them go to bed. Lord knows if they get up to two months. Oh, one of them was already in bed. Who's in bed already? Harris. Harris is already in bed. So Harris is in bed and Hamish also needs to come to bed. Boys! Get in there. Oh, look at that crisp quality coming back in. I saw that again. Oh, look at the boys already making a mess over here. Just perfect. Just what we wanted, right? Oh, who is this one? This one's Lassie. Yeah, Lassie's curling up by the fireplace. That's not on. Where's Dougie? Dougie? Oh, okay. Dougie's just coming up from the basement right now. I like having the dogs around. I don't know. They just add, like, some interest as to what's all going on. <laughs> Which, they're already dirty, but you know what? They were always kind of running amok anyways in the movies, so mm -hmm. they're fine. 
All right, Merida just did that. So let's have her go practice her archery skill a little more. And then have her go on, I guess, can we do this one yet? No, we can't do that one still. Come Merida, go practice your archery. I wish that my boy, wait, I'm sorry, was that Belle? Was she stuck somewhere? Why are you taking the kid out? Are you dirty? Why are you dirty? Why are we interrupting this session? I had the boys going to bed. Why do the Sims do that? They ruin all my plans. You are! Did you get struck by lightning? Why are you? I don't know why she's she's looking like this right now, but I find it a little concerning. Where is the bathroom? I'm still trying to get the hang of this castle. Okay, it's over here. Come use the toilet and take a bath. Why is everybody in this family so mad? Gotta mark something. Okay. No, not the... Why the stairs? Why must you do this right now? Freaking beasts. Ugh, nasty. Yeah, Merida, you better try and escape out here. Oh, look at Agnes using the little the little the little stall that we have set up for them in here. And Angus, don't go too far. We're gonna ride you after this. Kabuckles, thank you so much for that three month resub. Currently on a three month streak. Everyone's angry. Tina, thank you so much for that nine month resub. Man, we'd have a baby together right now if this were, you know. <laughs> No. When you gotta go, you gotta go. No, we're grown adults. We find the bathroom. Look at Mary to go now. I mean, she's really just popping off. Ooh, getting the more and centered. I think, I think she should be able to. Keep practicing a little bit longer. Are you able to get to this one yet? No. I want her to go on the medium one. I want to prove how awesome we are. Where is their archery from? This is a mod. So I did download a archery uh, mod. So, cause I mean, I couldn't do Merida without having archery involved somehow. So I did download a mod that allows uh, Sims to practice archery with uh, these different targets. There's the hay bale style ones. And then there's like actual like target looking ones as well. I just did these cause they felt more time period correct, you know? And I think you can get better bows, but she prefers to use the bow that her dad got her when she was a little girl. Reminds me of The Sims 3. Oh! Bells, you stop that. Uh, I don't, I'll peer poop wherever I am. No shame in my game. Got started, Bells. <laughs> Apparently, Bells doesn't care. Bells will go wherever. So, um, if you invite her to your house, good luck. All right, I wanted to see if we'll get like an actual archery skill. I think we can. Um, yeah, her dad has an actual archery skill, but hers is just increasing her motor skill. So whatever her motor skill is at, that's what I'm gonna cheat her archery skill to more closely. Um, ooh, do a little bit more. She's almost at level nine. Cause maybe I'll have to do that. Or I'll at least cheat it so she's got like a decent archery skill when she becomes a teen. All right, Angus, make Angus. Wait a second, we have to see the chickens real quick. Merida's got stuff for them. All right, I think you should wear Let's give them, I've never dressed them actually. I've never actually <laughs> knitted a um, outfit for the animals. Let's dress him in this one and then let's dress you in the green one. And don't make me yell at you. I'm going, I'm going, oh wait, I'm going. 
There, saved. And then we'll take Angus McBangus on a ride. Angus McBangus. Angus McBangus. Hi, Lassie! Sweet girl. Hello there. <gasps> hello there! Who hello there be? Who used that sweet Ella Mugwugga's voice? It's always princess, isn't it? I feel like it's always princess that uses it. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Look at them! Oh my god, hold on. Please excuse me. Please excuse me. Wow, what a gentle lady. Because they're hens, right? <laughs> what a gentle lady you are. And then, oh, uh, wait, no, that's the rooster. So that's a rooster. What a gentleman you are. What? A, um, and then there was another one. Dressed up. There you are. Oh, what a lady. What a distinguished lady. <laughs> Oh my gosh, why they look like hey hey? They look nothing like hey hey. Hey, he's skinny and tiny. Also, I'm sorry, I'm trying not to sniffle in front of you guys, and I totally forgot. All right. <laughs> what a gentle mother clucker. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, it was Princess Fireball. Thank you. Hello there. I told you guys, if you hello out there at me with a sound alert, I will say hello to you. All right, go for a ride. An intense ride, because Merida does know better. She does know less. No! Why do they always do this to me? I said go for a ride. Why do they get off in 0. 0.2 seconds? Get on the horse. Get Horse. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta tell her to go somewhere on him. That way they'll, yep, head off. Okay. You better not be tasting that chicken, lassie. I'm watching you. No suspicious behavior. Are you chasing the chicken, lassie? Why are you dirty, by the way? What are you getting in? You're getting in that. Okay, it makes sense. Fine. Where the dark winds are blowing and the mountain is clear and my misty waters. It was that Jacob Black? <laughs> Hello, Jacob. <laughs> How do you do sound alerts? They are underneath. Uh, the video in the about section there is a sound alert section and you can click them and use those <laughs> hi Jake <laughs> hey no 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 don't stop please don't stop oh she's giving him a pet okay that's not that bad oh, okay we were going in circles there for a second Oh, you, you just ran over a man. Yeah, you should stop and ask him if he's okay. Why do you keep thinking about Dorian? This is like your great, 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 great step uncle or something. Because Prince Dorian is Cinderella's half-brother. Because Dorian is the son of Snow White and Prince Florian. So... Why are you stopping the ride? <gasps> Do not throw my horse. Like, is he, a, is he like really bothering you that much? Can you not go continue on your little ride here because of him? Yeah. He's blocking our path. Why? Obnoxious. Get off the trail! This is a problem for them, apparently. Can I? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, our ride with Angus McBangus was rudely interrupted by freaking Dorian. Because apparently Angus does not like to pass in front of him. <laughs> what is this chicken doing? What are you doing? Where are you going? Why are you running? 
<laughs> Hello there. <laughs> oh, now you'll pass him. Where are you going? Well, he's happy. That's good to know. Look, it's our neighbors. <laughs> All right. What should Merida do with her time now? I guess we can start another day of lessons real quick. What did we else do? We needed to play chess with her mom. Do we have a chess board? I thought we had a chess board. Oh my gosh, Adam, please stop. Why are you be- Oh, you're enraged. Okay, I was like, why are you beast running around? It's terrifying when they do that. I hate that. Um, are you good, bruh? Are you good? Mrs. Potts is calling. Yeah, Mrs. Potts is going to date. Love is in the air. Sure, whatever you say. All right. You feeling better now? Is it no shirt time? Are y'all trying to thirst after him already? I think the weather is starting to get hotter, so you know maybe he does. Maybe he will. Are the kids still sleeping? Oh my gosh! Look at the triplets all still sleeping. Isn't that nice? <laughs> all right, what is Merida gonna be up to today? I was looking for a chess table. Good lord, me and my brain. Do we have a chess table? I thought I had one somewhere. Dougie, if you go wake those boys up, I swear. Oh, who did this lovely painting? I want to know who's done by. <laughs> All right, doesn't look like I have a chess table out already, which is fine. I'll go grab one real quick. Service for activities and skills. We need chess. Why do I keep yawning? <laughs> ah yes a beautiful wooden one very much fits the vibe there we go now let's have her mom and her play a game together And Merida, you must get changed as orders by your mother. Gotta do yourself up, my little princess, do. Hey, come on. Don't worry about being tired. You're not tired. No one's tired. No one's hungry. No one's tired. Everything's fine. Hold on, am I half hour late? No, 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 no. You're 40 minutes late. <laughs> I was like, I'm, I haven't been streaming for an hour and a half. I'm like, geez, I've done nothing if I've been streaming for an hour and a half. Was that a random dog at our door? Or is that, that was Dougie, right? Honestly, can't tell who they are anymore because they keep getting themselves dirty. Maybe adding dogs in was a bad choice. Oh, apparently our dad's going to be joining us for our training today. Oh, but that does make sense, though, because technically, Belle uh, played the beast in chess when she was over at his house that one time. I don't know if y'all remember that, but uh, they did play chess with each other and flirt across the chess table. Hey, you're blocking my view! Stop howling.
Do you think they're actually having a genuinely fun moment right now, or do you think Merida is not quite enjoying this? Her little voice right now. Ambitious. Nah, I don't want to deal with that. Beastie Boy, people are saying you gotta take your shirt off that you're hot right now, so. I mean, I guess. I can't argue with what the people want. <laughs> Merida, you didn't even finish. You need to get to at least skill level two. Where are we at? Barely one, so you need to keep going. Are you even learning a skill right now? Yeah, you are. Thank you, Miss Ness, and no worries, sweetheart. Merida is smarter. I don't think so. <laughs> Okay, Merida, you need to at least ponder moves and practice. Because you need to get your skill up. Your mom played a couple rounds with you trying to show you how to play the game, and now you just gotta kind of learn things. You are the Queen's Gambit, okay? Hey, 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 you stop being spicy over there. We don't need any more children. Oh, her dad's gonna sit and play with her. That's so cute. Ugh. It said you weren't streaming till 8 p.m. tonight. Hmm, where did it say that? Don't mind me as I go check my schedule. change it changed all my times i hate it when the time change does that no that one's the same why is that later you know that's happened to me multiple times where it changed my time because i never change my times if i cancel a stream i just cancel it i never change the time though I don't know why it does that to me sometimes. It's very annoying. I apologize. <laughs> I just updated it now. <laughs> Back at the ESO to the six month three sub. I'm so sorry, pretty simmer. For the love of God. Why polish you perfection? Why? No, play the game. You have just you have to get your logic skill up. That's it. That's all you have to do. I know you're really working on your mental like your mental capacity right now, but I need you to get logic up. You're so close. You're almost done. Just keep going. All right, guys, I do want to warn you tonight. So I'm going to be aging Merid up here shortly to a teen. And that's kind of when her whole suitor storyline is going to begin. For the most part. Um, we're going to start thinking about that here shortly. So I need you guys to be thinking. We need a game. We need a couple games for the suitors. We need a game that represents strength. We need a game that represents endurance. Um, and we need a game that will represent their, their brain power, their logistics, their brawn, you know. Um, and then lastly, Merida will have them play archery. So those are gonna be the, the four trials that decide who is going to be our suitor. Um, so I need you guys to help me out with those. Start thinking about that. Uh, because we're going to have them play actual archery. That's one of the challenges that we're going to definitely do. But I need one that's for strength, 
endurance and brain. Show the massive meaty brain there. Um, think things that we used to do for the Hunger Games. You know what I'm saying? Think stuff like that. Um, that I can obviously do in The Sims that shows a clear cut winner. So think how I would set up the Hunger Games in the past and challenges like that. And when I get down to it, I'll uh, ask for your guys' suggestions and then I'll do a poll and that'll be what they do. Could they solve a puzzle for brain? Ooh, who's the first to complete a puzzle? I like that, actually. That'll be really good. Do it have to be time appropriate? I mean, if you can get it time period appropriate, that'd be awesome. Like, if we can think of something that is time period appropriate or what would seem, you know, acceptable for the time, that's fine. Like, a puzzle, it seems good. Uh, they could do chess. I guess also <laughs> like they each play each other in chess that way we can see who wins the chess game um you know that way it has a clear winner but putting together a puzzle is also kind of fun and she did just get to logic skill level two okay so one more skill we'll, we'll teach her today and then i think we're going to be ready to change her to a I have I figured out the last skill I'm gonna have her learn today and it's gonna make all of you incredibly uncomfortable and I'm so excited for it. All right, Merida. Get to practicing, baby girl. Ooh, I like swimming for endurance. Ooh, that could be a good one for endurance. Oh, but how would we test that? Technically, swimming for endurance is a good one. Do we just see how many laps they can get around a pool? Like the first one to go so many laps is the winner? Hmm. Yeah. Gain grabs earplugs. <laughs> Is there a good way to support you more on YouTube? Um, I know this was random, but I fish I just officially is subscribed. Um, for YouTube, really just letting the whole video play, sharing it, and I believe watching the ads helps, but don't you don't have to, because especially now that YouTube updated their ad policy, those ads can be long. Long, long ads. So yeah, don't blame me if you don't watch the entire thing of that um i don't know for the most part um liking oh liking the videos and commenting like comment and just watch the entire video from start to finish i think that's like the main three ways that push your video to like more people is it how many people engage with the video so a comment a like and um watching the whole thing that usually helps with youtube if you're if you if you want to try and do that you don't have to i always appreciate it of course but don't have to the shark pit we're not trying to kill the suitors we're not trying to kill them we need them alive <laughs> are you kidding me I go to sleep with your sister wife's challenge play. <laughs> Why not? Why can't we kill them now? We're not killing them. How's that skill going here, honey? Oh, we're almost at level two. Hey, you said Hunger Games. I'm at risk challenge type of games, people. Oh, you sound beautiful, honey. Beautiful. All right, there is her a violin skill too. And that, with that, guys, I think it's finally time for us. We've done enough with Merida as a child. I think it's finally time to go ahead and move her up into a teen. And that means I'm going to be moving the boys up. 
to be children, which I should totally save. All right, so Merida is outdoorsy. I guess active would be a good, a good one for her, because I still can't do adventurer yet. So we'll do active. Let me just, oh, great, I, I messed that up, I can't. All right, Hubert, sim com, oh, nope, 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 nope. Commands, age, child, and Harris. Harris or Harris, do you think? How would they say that? Hamish, Hubert, and Harris? Harris, Harris? I wonder what the dialect they what uh, kind of dialect spin they put on them. Put on the name. Some commands that age shop. Okay. Oh Merida, you are beautiful, honey. Let me just fix you. Actually, as soon as the triplets all age up, then I'll do that. How dare you, Noel? How dare you fall asleep during Harry Potter? All right, so I feel like for the triplets, goofballs have to be their traits. Hey, Lassie got clean. That's nice. But each of them are kind of good at a different skill. Why do you all look like this? Gosh darn it. Why do you all do this to me? Why do you all have to look this terrifying? And the problem is I can't change you all at once. All right, I have one. How many do this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have eleven people in this family. I need to get rid of three of them temporarily so I can change them all at the same time because I don't want to have to not. So, MC commands are. Give some commands. Maintain sim. Move sim. New household. Don't worry, I'm gonna add them back in like two seconds. Sim commands, maintain sim, move sim. New household. Sim commands, maintain sim, move sim. New household. All right, now I should be able to edit them all and create a sim at the same time. <laughs> Shark teeth, ooh ah uh, ah, uh, and orca skin. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and do that real quick. Pick Ooh, started time. working again. Bliss, no way. Don't be stressed. You're going to do great. All right, so here is our Merida. So how about we get her looking more like Merida? I did save a, <laughs> a little five-step program on how I make Merida look like Merida. So hopefully I should be able to get this uh, done pretty quickly. Merida has very thin, light little eyebrows. All right, she's got her freckles, her this, her that. Okay. Now I don't have her wearing. There we go. Now here is where her hair comes into play. So I think for Merida's hair, I, oh gosh, she's got shark teeth. Let's fix that. 
For Meredith's hair, I used to use this hair. Is this hair great hair? Yes, but, or I think I used to use like one of these two for Merida. But I recently just got a hair that just works so much better and I can't wait to show it to you guys. I just got this new hair that really makes it so much more Merida. With her big wild fluffy hair. And here it is. This one, right? Was it this one? This one. This one. There it is. This one. <laughs> this hair is so wild and floofy. It just really sells her beautiful long locks, and I love it so much. I'm a working girling again. A first time in almost six years. Oh, you go get it, girl. You got this. That is gorgeous. I love it. Does it say the creator? Oh, yes, but in a thing I can't really read. I think it says Sierra. Something like that. I can't really read it, but I love it. All right, and I do have my cheat sheet. <laughs> I've like picked everything up uh quickly and should be able to get through this pretty quickly at least all right when it comes to her boots i need base game boots yes down to the civic dresses First dress I need is... God, if I can find them fast. That'll be the only problem is having to search for the actual dress itself. Because I have so many Sifix dresses. Because she's just the best creator of dresses. I know you guys see me use these dresses all the time. I just... Let... Why are you so skinny? Girlfriend. Chill. Like, I just love these dresses so much. I use them all the time, and for good reason. They're gorgeous, gorgeous dresses. And I think I just passed it. There it is. Found it. more blue or is it green i think it's more blue but i always imagine it as green i think for the other merida i have her in the green version of dress green merida depends on the dress you look at really because she's got the art it's more of this color which is kind of what i got up but she wears this really deep dress i don't know why i always imagined it as green but it's blue, it's a dark, it's a very deep navy blue. She does have the light blue dress that her mom dresses her in. But in art, she wears like this teal kind of version of it. I think that's the dress I always kind of remember, you know? Yeah, she's more into blue than I thought. All right, next screenshot dress. Ugh, why'd that happen? Hmm. 
I guess which dress is better? I don't really know. <laughs> oh no. I wanted her to have a couple options. That way she could kind of change it up every day. Because some of these are just like my absolute faves. So I'd like to be able to see her wear them. Yeah, I know. I always say quickly and it never really turns out quickly, does it? <laughs> I'm just awful. I know. There, these. These ones. I love these. They're so pretty. Ugh. They're to die for. Dang it. I was afraid of that. Please don't make me change her hair with every dress. I don't want to do that. <laughs> oh wait, I can just copy paste her hair on all her outfits, can't I? I'll just probably do that. Her boots, all right, her formal dress I had. Oh, the blue, the blue. Where is it at? Where did that? Where did it go? Here we are. So I have this dress and then I put this accessory top underneath because the dress is more of like a turtleneck kind of a dress. But the real kicker is, so when her mom gets her little claws on her, she's got this style. Cause you remember in the movie, her mom likes to tuck her hair back in that really ugly <laughs> in that really ugly look. So I think for the when the suitors are trying to get a hold of Merida, she will wear her hair like this. Because her mom made her. Because she stuffs it back in that awful thing. I'd put like a band around it, but as you can see, the hair kind of conflicts with it, which sucks. <laughs> And don't worry, I will add her, I'll add her hair and makeup across all the outfits. I hate that it's doing this to me right now. All right, for her athletic wear, I also have a plan. I need these with these boots. and a very specific top or uh, outfit, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find it. I had this for her athletic wear, but as you can see, I forgot to click off athletic and so I don't know where to find this. So I might have to change her athletic just for this simply because I don't know where it's at. <laughs> I don't know if it's at, where it's at in this whole mix. And I feel like it'll take me way too long to go hunting for it. So I think we'll have to do something like this. This will be her athletic wear. I think that that still looks good for her. Don't worry, I'll change her hair again. All right, her sleepwear we have. Oops. This dress. Her every day where I have that same dress we had her in before. Nope, let me get the boots on. Why do they wear? Like, why would this be her swimwear? Why is this a swimwear dress? 
This is not a swimwear dress. She would drown if she tried to swim in this dress. Why is this a swimwear dress? There we go. There is a more, a better swimsuit. All right, hot weather outfit. It's not this, but I believe the outfit I'm looking for is around here. I mean, is this really hot weather appropriate? Probably not, but I don't care. <laughs> She'd probably die in this, but you know, they didn't really get the option to wear shorter dresses back in the day. They had to wear was ladylike and appropriate. Where are those base game shoes? Where are they? Oh, there they are. Why do I always overlook these shoes? I use them for everything. And her cold weather outfit. Ah. Where'd it go? It wasn't the one I had. Where is it? There we go. I just make her have more excuses to wear those dresses that I love. Okay, so there is my Merida. She is looking fantastic. Now to fix the triplets. <laughs> so I'm going to dress up one triplet in the outfits that he needs. But I'm going to go ahead and make sure that their hair and everything is good and then i'll just copy over all the outfits across all three triplets so i'm gonna do the outfits and the hair and the setup for one and hopefully that'll be enough and gotta get some freckles on these babies there we go i mean as much as i love the bieber hair it's not what we're going for here i want this specific hairstyle. Was it this one? It's not quite this one. I think it's this one. All right, and then his full body outfit. I need this top. Now I need, oh, this is his freaking sleepwear outfit. Gosh darn it. I hate it when I do that. To the bottom. I, I need this. I need, I think it's this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that and I need Oh, which one did I have? I need these. Oh my god, I forgot they're werewolves. No. And I need these. Alright, so that will be their outfit for about everything. <laughs> You'll probably never see them change out of this outfit. <laughs> oh, lordy. Why do they all have the plague? I want that same hair. Where is it at? Here it is. And let me apply their skin details. And the eyelashes and the freckles. There we go. Ugh. Let me just make sure he's not all messed up for the rest of the stuff. I didn't check his teeth. Do we have shark teeth? Nope, no shark teeth. Okay. All right, last one. Hamish, let me check you out. Let's get rid of all those. <laughs> that and this 
And that. Oh, he Hamish has a different face than his brothers. So Hamish looks a little different. He has like a longer face. His so Harris and Hubert look exactly the same. Hamish has a little bit of a different look. I don't know why. Oh, dang, I did it again. But yeah, he's got more of summer apparel. So we got one brother dressed up in the fit check that they're going to be wearing for this. So other than that, we're good. And yes, the fact that um, there's two that look identical and one that looks different, very common amongst triplets because usually how triplets happen is a mom, how, this, uh, how it normally happens is the mom will drop two eggs and both eggs will be fertilized. So they're each fertilized with different DNA. So the one, they're going to look different from each other. But what normally happens with triplets is one of those eggs splits. So they share the same DNA for the most part. Um, they each can have different genetic maxims. So they're usually identical while this one has their own unique appearance because they were the other egg that was fertilized by a different sperm. So that's not how it normally happens for triplets. So there is a rare occasion where the egg splits three times and they're all completely identical. Or there is, I think there's an occasion too where they each have their own egg and that they're all completely different from each other. I love genetic talk. It's so interesting. I have I knew a triplet in my life and it was that situation where two of the triplets looked completely identical and the one looked uh, different than his brothers. So it is interesting to see that happen. All right, which one was the one that I dressed up? <laughs> oh, God. Which of you kids is the one that has the actual outfit? Not you. You do. I think, yeah. Dress up, change outfit to your everyday. Okay, copy paste, copy outfit. Uh, paste outfit. Copy outfit, paste outfit. Paste outfit. Paste outfit. Paste outfit, okay. Now, copy paste, copy outfit. All right, hopefully this works how I want it to. Dresser, change outfit. Nope, 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 nope. Copy, paste. Paste all outfits. Sweet. No, they're missing the tights. No. Why do you exclude the tights? That ruins it. Now I have to go back in and fix just that. <laughs> Unless, unless, un unless, dresser, change outfit, no, copy, paste, copy, copy, outfit, copy, dang it, fine, the other triplet stars aren't having that, and then Merida, let me look at you, is this the outfit with the makeup, yes it is, so, I was going to be on center, dresser, change outfit, no, I lied, Copy paste, copy hair, paste hair to all outfits, copy makeup, paste makeup to all outfits. All right, there we go. And save. <laughs> Human genetics, a weird grab bag. It's cool though. Twins run in my family. My grandmother was a twin. I actually learned that twins can happen to anybody. Like anybody has the ability to, so let me say this, twins can happen to any person, um, but there are people who are more genetically predisposed to dropping more eggs. Like their fertility is just insane and they drop multiple eggs, like kind of with every ovulation. So they always have a chance to have twins um, and stuff like that. But everybody in the world pretty much has a chance of being able to have twins. But some people are just more genetically prone to having twins. 
So, if you thought you weren't going to have twins because they don't run into your family, that's a lie. You could still have twins. <laughs> Twins were in my family. My great grandma had them, and my uncle had just recently had twins. Ooh, I find multiples so interesting. I do too. I like for so um I don't know some of you I don't know how long you guys have been around, um but those of you that have been around for over for over a year now, like almost for those of you who came around right pretty much at the start of my channel, you will know that I was trying to get pregnant for a long time and was kind of unsuccessful for like six or seven months we were trying and I was unsuccessful. And so I had to go on fertility treatments and basically I went and I got checked and basically came back with the diagnosis that I was infertile. Um, and so I had to go on Clobid which is a fertility drug, um, to be able to get pregnant with my son. Luckily, I only had to take it for a month and I was able to get pregnant. Um, but yeah, she said basically if I didn't take anything, I my chances of becoming pregnant were severely and drastically low. So probably for me to have kids in the future, I will always need to go on some sort of fertility drug if I want to have more children which I do I very much want to have more children in the future but my chances are I'll have to go on some sort of fertility drug and it may and I may not be so, as successful as I was the first time so here's to hoping that in the future if I do try and get pregnant again that I am more successful quickly My husband and I have been trying for a year now, and I'm going to ask my doctor about that. Yeah, I just so happened to talk to my doctor about it when I went to my annual checkup with her. I was like, hey, me and my husband are trying, and uh, you do have to get blood work done because they have to look at your progesterone levels and you know, all the things. But, um, so yeah. Um, but anyways, I had to look into the idea of multiples because if you go on fertility medications, they're... Um, they can increase your chance for multiples. Like I'm talking twins, triplets, quads, uh, because it like really boosts your fertility to try and get you to um, ovulate and, you know, drop eggs and stuff like that. Um, so when you take, when I had, when I started taking Clomid and stuff, my doctor was like, okay, so you have to know that there is a chance that you could get pregnant with multiples by taking this. And I was like, okay. And she's like, it's a chance. It's, she's like, it's not guaranteed. Obviously I had a single boy. Um, she's like, but you have to highly consider that if you go on this drug, there is a chance that you could have multiples. And I talked to my husband about that. I was like, do you think we could handle twins? And I always told him if I ever have multiples, I hope it's with my first pregnancy because I couldn't imagine having multiples and they're not your first set of kids because not only are you trying to parent two babies or even three babies at the same time, but then you're also trying to parent two new babies at the exact same time while having an older child to take care of. If I was going to try, if I was going to have multiples, I was going to hope that it was my first pregnancy. That way there is a better chance that I could, you know, use all my energy to try and take care of them when they're bitty babies. Um, you know, when they kind of need you the most. So I wouldn't have to be like, hold on, my other child, your brother and brother, your brother and sister, or your sister and sister need mommy more right now. So I'm glad I didn't get pregnant with multiples um, the first time. But chances are, if I want to try um, for a, get a kid again in the future, which I want to try for another kid by the time Ryder's like two or three years old, um, I'd like to start trying again. So we'll see how long it takes the second time around for Clomid, because I'm probably going to have to go on it again if I want to have another child. Two kids with Clomid here. We had a zero chance without it. Holly, do. Private question. You don't have to answer. You can instant message me if you don't want to say it in the chat, too. But they have you check your progesterone levels. So you have, like, sorry, I'm getting into this conversation. And half of you probably don't want to hear about this. But, um... When they checked my blood work, my progesterone level, when you ovulate, it should be at a 10. Um, like the number that they're looking for should be at a 10 for your ovulation and your progesterone level. When I did mine, I was at a 1.5. Um, 
Which means I ain't having no baby on that. Like, for a healthy, like, chance of getting pregnant, you need, like, a score of 10 or higher. Um, I was at a 1.9. <laughs> or, like, no, I was at a 1.5. So I was not. She's like, yeah, you were not getting pregnant. Um, it was, she's like, it'd be very rare. No, I'm losing a chicken! No! Ugh. So, yeah. Interesting stuff. You don't have to say, but I was, mm. You were at a 1.6, or you were at a 0.68, so you were never ovulating, lol. Oh my god, Holly! That is, oh, That's so, like, when I saw infertility on my paperwork after I took that test, and they're like, yep, infertility, I was like, when I saw that on my paperwork, because I always wanted kids. I always knew I wanted children and stuff like that. So, no, I got more chickens leaving me, no! So when I saw on my paperwork infertility, it just ruined me i was so upset i was like no <laughs> i want kids <laughs> but i'm glad holly d that you have two uh beautiful babies now with the with the help of clovid that's awesome though <laughs> if you're that low two periods still have it yes yeah um mine were like farther apart um at the time when i was doing this like i think my average was like almost every other month I would get my period. So they still happen. Um, sometimes I would get them at monthly. Sometimes like they were all over the place. Sometimes it would be every other month. Sometimes they'd be, you know, on a month to month back to back. I wasn't on birth control, obviously, and stuff like that. So I don't know. It's just weird like that. <sighs> like do eggs still drop? I believe so. It's so discouraging to see. Ugh. My test was a 1.9. Crafty, you were the same as me, honey. Mm. It's cool to hear this stuff. I find it, I find it fascinating, but I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. And it, oh my gosh, I forgot to add the parents and Maudie back to the family. Oops. All right, so luckily, uh, for the most part, they all should still be here. So let me just. <laughs> oh no, Maudie and Mom left, so I have to invite them back over. But I totally forgot to, <laughs> to add the family back in. <laughs> Which is really funny, but it's fine. Tana Pabla? You know what to do. Yeah, pregnancy and fertility, it's a wild ride. Like once you decide you're ready to start trying for kids, you know, if you're somebody who's planning, you know, your family, um, it's so interesting the process. You learn sometimes for some people you learn that getting pregnant is a lot harder than you originally thought it would be like i thought i was just gonna get pregnant when i decided to have a kid because my i have a lot of family on my mother's side so i thought i was just gonna be a fertile myrtle i was wrong <laughs> i was not <laughs> but it's fine i you know i i've dealt with that i've come across that so i always uh, kind of when i kind of when i say that i want more kids i always kind of treat it with if i can I, whenever I talk about having more kids, I always in my head say, if I can, that way, if I can't have more kids and it, and I just have my only son, Ryder, that's fine. I'll be okay with that. I would love more. Are you eating poop? I would love more children, but if I can't and I just have my one son, I, I'll be fine with that. I'm glad to have just been able to have one kid. But I hope that in the future, if I, um, when me and Max try again, that I'm able to get pregnant and have another child someday. <laughs> My spouse and I have just started talking about our timeline, maybe starting to try a family. So this is cool for me, for sure. It's a lot. I like, I like knowing things. I like having information. So I find this fascinating to talk about. By the way, if this is triggering to anybody in the, ch in the chat, like maybe, um, or you just don't want kids, you don't want to learn about this. I apologize for anything. If it could have triggered you and stuff like that, or if you've, you know, had situations in the past that, um, this is a triggering discussion for you. I apologize if I am um, upsetting anybody. I'm just talking about something that pertained to my life. So if I have hurt anybody in the meantime for me talking about this, I of course do not ever intend to. <laughs> my, I'm sorry, my one nose right now is so stuffy over here. 
I thought I was over this, but I'm not. Okay, we need to get started with Merida here. So as a teen, let, I want to go have her go on a ride with Angus. Angus McBangus, I want to see her riding him once. I want to have her practice archery just a little bit more and then have her and her mom do one more training session of her like as a teen. And then I think we're going to get into the whole suitor situation. You know, I don't think she's going to be able to ride him out here. So I'm going to call him over. Oh, here. Angus, big fingers. Thanks for hearing my questions. I'll probably have to go to a fertility doctor when I decide to have kids. So having in some info helps me a lot. No, I'm glad to help. Um, I will say I just went to my regular um, gynecologist. So I just went with for my regular annual visit and talked to her about it at that time. So uh, it is helpful, though, going there with a medication in mind to be like, hey, I researched about this one and I've heard about this one. What are your thoughts and opinions? So I think it does help if you like go to them with a medication in mind. I just know Clomid works well for a lot of people. There are some side effects when you start it. Some people have intense headaches and dizziness and stuff like that. I didn't really experience any of that. I don't remember I'm having a lot of problems like that, but I know some people do. So that is something to look out for. All right, please do not get off the horse. Just go for a ride. Don't get off the horse. Don't get off the horse. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, just go, go for a ride. Go for a ride. Please, I'm begging you. Thank you. Hang <laughs> Angus is a weird name for a horse since it's the name of a steak. Oh my gosh. First off, it's the name of a breed of cow. Angus beef cows is a cow. Um, but the name Angus, why? Do not throw her off. Angus McBangus, go for a ride. Thank you. Uh, why do people always get her? Is that Patchy? Patchy? <laughs> Look at the, I love it. Why are you just walking around? I have never just run into, no, I think I have ran into Patchy in the past, actually. But it's so funny to see him just kind of chilling. Also, you guys are yelling at me to save. I'm going to do that. Yeah, my doctor said too, they usually like to have people like try without medication for at least six months before they start talking to people about fertility medications. Cause sometimes you're just not successful the first couple times. So yeah, my doctor did tell me though, they, they do like people to try for at least six months unmedicated before talking about fertility medications and stuff like that. Um, so that is what most doctors I hear talking about. Cause they'd rather you not try medication if you don't have to. So that's something to know, I guess. All right. Where am I at, by the way? If I get to 315 subs, I'll do a mustache party. We'll set that as a goal for tonight. So if we get to 315, we'll do a little mustache party. All right. Now that I've got them on an energetic ride, I'd like to see Merida as a intense ride because I feel like she'd enjoy that more. Look at her, so majestic. It's really nice to see like, I guess not adult Merida, but you know, in her like, teens and adults are basically the same freaking thing in The Sims. So it is nice to see like, I don't know, her riding Angus right now. It's very like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> Ooh, sneak peek, sneak peek. 
<laughs> One of the suitors is dropping by to say hello, I guess. Hello, Jane. I love seeing all the Disney characters as we're walking by, though. It does make me very happy <laughs> to just see a whole bunch of Disney characters, like, just running by. You're watching Brave right now? Aw. Ooh, get it. Fire experiment! All right. And with that, I think we'll have them kind of head back home. So when she, go, she goes by the house again, I'll have her stop. Is her dad just playing in the leaves? That's so beastie, baby. I can't be Look at that, pulling up right in front of the poop. And once again, we'll have her call Angus over to the water as a thank you for the beautiful ride we had today. I will say though, while the horse ranch pack, I do wish they had more to it. I do enjoy the horses in the game. Like I'm having fun with them. I'm going to increase her archery skill. I'm going to cheat it because she had like, it wouldn't give her an actual archery skill. So I'm going to give her like at least a level five. Ooh, I need to get like a, I need to get a nice little screenshotty here. There we go. Thumbnail screenshot. Oh, yes, all seriousness, like how she does in the movie. If I could just line up the shot. Yeah! <laughs> Boop. <laughs> all right. I just want her to practice that a little more. I wish they would practice for a longer period of time, because I feel like they give up so quickly. And it, like, hardly moves up their skill at all. Maybe I lied. Maybe I'm gonna... Ooh, she's level 10! <laughs> Alright, guys. Once again, I hope you've been thinking about what games we're gonna be having these guys playing. Because I think it's about time for the suitors. Merida, you are much better than this. You're freaking level 10. Once again, I wish the animation and like the accuracy would improve after, um, like once they reach archery level 10, because there's not much reason to get up to archery level 10 because she doesn't hit better. Like the, the way she does it isn't any more skilled, which is kind of annoying. All right, now to decide, do I want to have, I think we're gonna do it at the other clan's house. I think it'll be easier in the long run on me. That way I can, um, <clears throat> don't have to worry about Maudie and the dogs and the horses and the, tw and the triplets. So we're gonna go over to the Lord of Dun the Lords of Dunbrock. We're gonna travel with her mom. 
her dad and herself. Let's work on a, let's work on the smarts first. So let's do that. We're gonna set up a poll. So I want suitor contest. Let's go with their, their brain power, their brawn. I'm Meadow Dunbrock and I'll be shooting for me own hand. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so. Oh, okay. In 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 instantly, Merritt is getting pretty cozy with this suitor. <laughs> Merida, I think he's he's very intensely. <laughs> he's very intensely staring at her. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, when I made these characters, you do have to know that I didn't have everything to make them look exactly how they do, um, but I did my best. So I will better introduce all of them here in a second to you guys. Uh, how do I want to do this? I think I'll do it this way. Why is the mother drunk? Belle, why have you been drinking? Some commands, maintains him, moves him into other household. That way I don't have to figure this all out later. Some commands, cheats, play this household. <laughs> Look at the schnozzle. <laughs> No, this is all up in her business. <laughs> all right. So I see a lot of suggestions for chat. Carrie Oki game. That is save, not. Josie. That is not for that. I will say who yelled at me. Princess Ice. Of course it was you. Mm -mm -mm. So I see chess puzzles for the brain power. Which I think is probably one of like the, the most accurate things that we could do for testing their brain power. And right, and let's add Merida and her dad. Alright, guys, let me go ahead and introduce all the different men of the clans. First up we have here Lord McGuffin. Lord McGuffin, please stand forward. Actually, let me go ahead and turn autonomy off that way they don't all run away lord mcguffin stands before ye for clan mcguffin this is lord mcguffin doesn't he look i mean i think he's kind of cute but we're not here for lord mcguffin okay we're here for lord mcguffin's son we're here and young mcguffin is one of the suitors that will be competing for merida's hand so here we have young mcguffin we have Lord McGuffin, and here is Young McGuffin, and I think he's a little cutie. <laughs> and I want to hear your guys's. I want to do. A, I want to hear your guys's comments on which Lord M you guys will be rooting for. So keep them in mind. This is Young McGuffin, a uh, cutie in my books. Next, we have Lord Macintosh as the other clan. Oh, apparently he's going to be running up. He's that excited. This is Lord Macintosh of the Macintosh clan. He also has quite the schnoz. As you can see, it's where his son gets it. <laughs> there is a Lord Macintosh. And his son is young Macintosh. Oh, look at him already sauntering his way up here. So we, <laughs> I like how they're looking at each other right now. So we have Lord Macintosh and his son, Young Macintosh. So this is Young Macintosh. 
Stop, Mandy. You did amazing on these characters. I did get them from the gallery, but you guys know me. I always spice them up to be more accurate as to what I see them. So I did take them from another person who created them, probably Tomlin YouTube, but I spliced them up with my CC and skin details and changed more of their features to be more accurate to what I saw. So there you go. And yes, in the, bo in the books, or sorry, in the movie, Merida doesn't need a man. But in this challenge, we do need a, a, a daddy here because we need to move on with the, the series. And we do need a dad because the next princess is Ariel and her dad is very much a part of her story. So picking a dad is important for Merida, sadly. Um, if it was me, I'd say Merida should be single and as a Pringle and she should be able to choose her own love. So we're going to have Merida choose her own love in this story, okay? Next we have Lord Dingwall. If he will go ahead and step forward here. Can you come, come a little closer, darling? Thank you. Then we have Lord Dingwall of the Dingwall clan. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Oh, Princess Ice, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. If you received the gifted sub for Princess Ice, please tell them thank you. Because they deserve it. And that is two more, actually. So thank you for the seven gifted subs. Please allow me to go ahead and grab a mustachio from the box. Uh, what's the most Scottish one I got here? I doubt I have many that's actually Scottish, but... So, actually, after Lord Dingwall here, of course, we have Young Dingwall. So, would Young Dingwall please step forward? Ebony Camus. <laughs> so, we have Lord Dingwall and Young Dingwall. <laughs> I... Love these. <laughs> oh my god. Do any of these boys have tails and scales? No, not technically, but I can cheat and make them a mermaid if I need to in the future. So how did you how did I do guys? How do they look? <laughs> and please tell me guys, what clan are you voting for? Who are you rooting for? Are you rooting for young Dingwall? The Dingwalls as our future relatives? Are you rooting for the MacGuffins? Or are you rooting for Macintosh? What clan are you rooting for? Macintosh, MacGuffin, or Dingwall? <laughs> Macintosh, MacGuffin, MacGuffin. I'm rooting for Mesh Shirt Man, which is Macintosh. <laughs> Young Macintosh. MacGuffin, Macintosh, Macintosh. Um, none. <laughs> oh my goodness. So you, here's the thing, guys. You'll have to vote for at least, or you're going to have to root for at least one of the three suitors for an actual potential husband for Merida. But in the end, I will let you guys decide if Merida chooses any of them or if she picks an entire person altogether. So it is still... At the end of the day, it'll be Merida's choice on who she wants to marry. She does have to marry a man for the storyline that we're going for. But in the end, it will be Merida's choice. So don't worry, guys. I will make sure we emphasize that. She's not going to just end up with whoever wins. She's going to end up with who she wants to end up with. So. McMuffins. <laughs> Oh no. I love young young Dingwall. I think I did I, I gotta show you guys the actual pictures of them. Um Brave Suitors. So here are the images that I went off of to get all of them. And I'm very proud of them. This is Dingwall in the movie. <laughs> I think.
think I did pretty freaking good. I mean, I wish we could make their foreheads more narrow than their chins, but The Sims doesn't allow you to do that. But I think I'm pretty spot on there for the allowance that The Sims let me do. Oh my gosh. And then for Lord, or Young MacGuffin. Once again, I didn't quite have a hair that matched his, but I did make sure he had a ponytail because that's what he does have. So there he is. Once again, you can't really make their chins wider than their actual foreheads. So that part from The Sims will never line up because his chin is so much bigger than his actual forehead. But in The Sims, they don't allow me to do that. And then Young Macintosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I had fun with this though. I had fun making these characters. It was a blast. Oh my God, wait, these are, Gein, you didn't know? You didn't know? Yes, these are all based off real characters in the movie. Absolutely. These are all the clans that come to present their suitors in the movie. And yes, I made them. What brave is this? This is the original. <laughs> There's only one brave. All right, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and cast a vote. The presenting of the suitors. Let's go ahead and do a vote. So what competition do we want to do for their smarts, their street smarts? Do we want to do chess, puzzles? Oh, is there anyone that could fit in for their smarts? Bone Hill for a suitor. Oh my goodness. All right. So I think those are the two options that were suggested that I think work the most. All right. You guys go ahead and do your votes. What do you guys think? I second Bone Hilda. No. <laughs> How is Bone Hilda going to be our King Trident? I guess looking at all of these guys, who would be the best King Trident? I mean, he already has some seaweed on his shoulder, so he could be a King Trident. I mean, he, I could see him with a big beard. I mean, his dad already has a big beard. He kind of looks like King Trident. I think, I think a young MacGuffin could work. Ugh, dingwall, the Dingwalls. Oh, the Dingwalls. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, Bone Hilda. That's why they're all talking about you. Get out of here, Bone Hilda. <laughs> oh my goodness. The poll is blank for me. Refresh. Refresh. It should pop up. All right. Merida, by the way, for the presentation of the Subers, suitors, honey, you have to uh, sadly be dressed. Oh, not like that. Oh no. Did it change? It changed her hair. Doesn't it matters? <laughs> well, so far the poll won with a pretty much mass majority. Anyways, you guys have requested that they do the puzzles, so we're gonna go ahead and do the puzzles. Let me just go ahead and find that one hair back. It matters to me because her mom would have her hair all pinched back in more of a presentable fashion. So. Because I liked that part of the movie. Because, you know, it really symbolizes that her mom is really good to kind of change who she is for that. Now, oh, come on. I found it so fast the last time. Please just let me find it all fast again. Here it is. Found it. Got it. Mm. Gein just said that there is a Twitch mobile app update right now. 
So if you're having issues with pulls and stuff, you might have to update. That is a good thing to note. All right, guys, so let's have them go ahead and cross over here and let's set up. This was the other uh, castle that I had pulled up as an option for um, the Dunbrock castle. You tell me which one you guys would have preferred. I do like this one a lot. Like I literally almost picked this one because I loved the bridge that you have to cross over to get here. But the, it was just a little smaller. But I think it, it could have been better for the stream. But they didn't have the basement or anything like that. This would just be the, the, the grand area. Um, well, I do like this house. It is a little bit smaller. But I do, I do like it a lot. So I almost picked this one for their house. Ooh, you know what? We kind of just need more space. None of these houses have a good space. That's the only part I don't like. So maybe I will take them all to the park, like the stone pillar park. And we'll do that. We'll do the suitor thing there. A hot young trident. <laughs> um, mm. All right. They think the only one that did not follow is technically you. Okay. So, there we go. We got more space here. There's going to be more people, sadly, that kind of show up. But I think this will work out for us. Let me just... No, 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 no. I don't want to move. I don't want to move. I want to flatten. Sorry. I want to flatten the train. That we have, we have more room to work on. All right. So, we need puzzles. You guys voted that the puzzles would be our contest of bronze. So, let's go ahead and get the puzzles out. I'm using brawn the wrong way, aren't I? Brawn is brains in the brawn. Brawn is strength, isn't it? I don't remember. Oh my god. Brawn is... Mm. So, and brains is just brains? I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, that could be some sort of skill. It's in activities and skills, I thought, wasn't it? Oh, it's not for rent. It's uh growing together. All right, let me go ahead and get the puzzles out. So how do we want to do this? Because it's three of them going head to head. Do we flip a coin and see who goes first? The first two to go against each other, and then the winner will play the... I think that's how we'll do it. We'll just flip a coin to decide who's going to go first here. Why do I always, why am I always so decisive, indecisive over trying to pick the easiest things? Wait a second. Puzzles isn't a two person thing, it's a one person thing. I don't need to pick. I'm dumb. They each get their own puzzle. Oh, there. I'm just dumb, don't listen to me. Oh, this one's farther away than the other one that upsets me, there we go. I was thinking, I was thinking of chess, sorry. When I was thinking of how they were going to have to compete against each other, I was wrong. They, with puzzles, they all got to do their own. So let me go ahead and have them all line up here. Oh, wait, we need chairs. We need a seat for the, the families to sit on while they watch. A nice little, little seating here. 
<laughs> All right, so you sit, you sit, and where are you at? You sit. And let me fix all of their moods. That way we're all starting off the same playing field here today. Oh my gosh, hopefully no one. Oh, hold on, I gotta change the type a lot. I don't want people, I don't want a whole bunch of people coming in. Park, residential, um, generic? Is that kind of a lot that no one will freaking come? Four. <laughs> I feel like at a park, Sims will come and hang out, but I feel like change it to generic, maybe Sims won't hang out as much. Because I don't want Sims coming and taking my things. Alright, everybody come. Line up. Why aren't you coming over here? There you go. Of course, you're all the way over there. Get to running! People don't have time to waste. Yo, king of the rock. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> there we go. All right. Now with them all there, let's have each of them take a seat here at their perspective chairs. That way we're all kind of starting off at the same time. Why are you here, Hubert? <laughs> oh, no. All right, every sim looks ready for the most part. So, change game puzzles. Change game puzzles. Change game puzzles. Oh my gosh. I think they all have different skills. I'm hoping they all have different skill levels. I'm trying, I'm going to try not to look at that. Okay, so. Lord Young MacGuffin is going to get a one, two, a two to three second discontinue. Unless they all start the puzzle at the same time. But we'll see. Come on, guys, get started. You can, oh, wait, no, I don't think, I think I have to click. Yeah, I have to click on the puzzle. Okay. Choose a puzzle. Oh, uh. Let's have them do a 500 piece puzzle and they will each do a landscape puzzle because I feel like that's hardest. Choose a puzzle, 500 piece, nope, not animals, landscape, the same one. Choose a puzzle, landscape. All right, let's take a look guys, are you guys ready? I need you in the comments to root for the clan that you want to succeed. So we have MacGuffin. Are you rooting for Young MacGuffin? Young Dingwall? Or Young Macintosh? Please go ahead and cheer your guys on while we're going, please. Okay, good. They're all starting at the same time, which is what I want. All right, it looks like Young Macintosh coming in right away with a puzzle piece. Nope, maybe he puts it back down. He decides it's not. Ooh, Young Macintosh? MacGuffin? Oh, Macintosh, nope, Macintosh backs out, MacGuffin backs out. Dingwall, come on, this is the first time you're picking up a piece. Put it in, <gasps> Dingwall finds a place first. Oh God, Dingwall places the first piece. Macintosh is struggling over there. Oh, he's getting very frustrated. <laughs> come on, come on, MacGuffin. Oh my God, Dingwall's pulling ahead. I think I just saw a piece of his puzzle click together more. No, uh, don't let, D Dingwall does not have the brains of this operation don't do this <laughs> no <laughs> gotta pay attention to who gets their puzzle done first i really gotta pay attention to that i don't know i think macintosh is doing the worst right now if i'm looking i think he's got some some pieces filling out he's got some pieces filling out and macintosh Macintosh is struggling over here, guys. He's getting really frustrated. Macintosh is not doing well. MacGuffin and Dingwall seem to be doing the best. Their puzzle is more complete than Macintosh's. <gasps> Dingwall gave up! Oh, no! Do we count that? Oh, no, he was just maybe getting a different perspective. Are people talking to them? Stop freaking talking to them. Merida, stop talking to them. You're distracting him. Is he done? Did he quit? Oh, he's trying to talk to Yao. No. Okay. Um, 
I'm gonna tell him to go. We got an interference. We got an inter interference. I can't delete him. I need him for later. This is what I get for trying to do this on a public lot. How do I send them away? <laughs> get out of here. Oh no. So do we, would we let him go? I'm gonna let him, I'm gonna let him go again. Cause Yao distracted him. That is so sad. He was doing the best. Dingwall, get back in there. Don't get distracted. You got this. You're still ahead of Macintosh. Don't worry. Keep going, boys. Macintosh, you're kind of giving up over there. Yao, stop distracting people. Get out of here. Don't talk to him. Merida, are you watching? Your mom's drunk over there. <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh, MacGuffin's pulling ahead. Because of Dingwall's interruption, MacGuffin is pulling ahead. Oh no, Yao's distracting Macintosh. Macintosh does not need any more of those distractions. <laughs> He's already doing bad. He's still working on the puzzle, though. He is still working on the puzzle. So Yao's distraction isn't quite working. He's getting more confidence, though. He's gaining more confidence, which is what we like to see. Ma uh, Dingwall, did you stop again? Dingwall, no! Don't get distracted. Don't let him do it to you. You can still do this. You can still do this. Oh my gosh, you're only a second behind Macintosh now. And I think you could pull ahead if you just try. Oh my gosh, we got one of the bin beds distracting freaking Macintosh. Now he's on his phone. He's getting her number. Wow. I mean, he is the ladies' man of the group. <laughs> Macintosh, do not get distracted by a stinky, smelly lady over there. A very pretty, stinky, smelly lady, but a, you know, it was. Oh, MacGuffin, get it. Get it, Mac <gasps> Did MacGuffin finish? Did MacGuffin finish? Yeah, I think he finished. No, he's missing a single piece. There is a single piece missing on the board. MacGuffin, come on, there's one piece. Get off your phone. Get the puzzle done. Dingwall could still come back. He could still come back from this. Mac Macintosh, you cannot afford to be distracted. Get your head in the game. Oh my gosh, is he waving? Is he excited because he's just gonna about to win? Fit finish the Oh my god, he did it. He did it. MacGuffin takes the lead. How far away is Dingwall, though? How, how far away would he have potentially won? He was only second spot. I think, I think Dingwall, if he didn't get distracted, I think Dingwall would have got it. But I'm going to say points to MacGuffin. He didn't get distracted. He didn't get pulled out. MacGuffin kept his head in the game. So point one for MacGuffin Clan. Mac G, Ding, Mac Tosh, McGuffins, Clan McGuffin, point. Can everybody please get out of this <laughs> area? All right, next we need a test of. Let's do a test of endurance. All right, so in test of endurance, people, what are things we could set up for an endurance competition? I know you guys said swimming. I could have them swim laps. Ooh, take them to a maze? We could do it. We could take them to the maze in Windenburg. We'll see which one completes the maze the fastest. That could be a good test. Uh, swimming, a maze. That's kind of like smarts and endurance. Treadmill. Rock wall climbing? Could take him to a, war a rock wall. Or I could do the rock wall machine. All 
All right, guys, go ahead and vote on which endurance activity you would like to see. You guys have 60 seconds on Twitch to decide. Do we want them to swim laps? Do we want to take them to the maze in Windenburg and see who completes the maze quickest? Do we want to have a treadmill competition between them? The last one to get off the treadmill loses. Do we want to do the rock wall machine or do we want to take them to the actual rock wall? Oh, wait a second. Do not pick the rock wall on the mountain. That takes, that's, all, that's really actually hard to set up. Do not pick the rock wall on the mountain. If you voted for the rock wall on the mountain, change your vote. <laughs> or I will do a re-vote after this because I just realized taking them to Mount Coombe to do the rock wall, it's, it takes a lot more. It's really difficult. So I'd rather we not do that one actually. So if you picked rock wall on the mountains, change your vote right now. <laughs> Because I just remembered that one takes a lot more to set up. It's, it's a lot more in-depth, and it's annoying, and I don't have time for that. And the maze won. Rockwell Mountain got second, and I think that's only because you guys wanted me to pick that one instead. Um, but the maze still won, so we are going to be taking them to the maze. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I keep rubbing the mustache. The hairs keep going up my nose. If you could change your feet, would you? Merida um, climbing the mountain. That is true. Merida does climb a mountain at the very beginning of the movie, but it's a, it's just such a pain in the butt because they have to have a certain amount of rock climbing skill already to be even be able to do it. Um, and I don't want to cheat and set people's rock walling rock wall climbing skills because then they'd all be the same, and I feel like that's not as fair. All right, group. All right, here's the maze. I'd say let's start them over here. Everybody join up over there. All right. I'm going to start them all three. With the best of my ability, I'm going to try and get them all on this or on this. Let's have them get here, and we'll start like that. Hopefully no one's already stepping on it. Okay. Of course the beast would. The beast would. All right. Let me go ahead and have them. I'm going to try and get them all to stand right here. All right, I'm going to have you go here because you're the closest. Okay, I got one. Dingwall, baby, can you go right here? It's hard to get them exact and perfect, but I'm going to try. Okay. He's stepping out. He's a slight bit behind him. Can you get just... A, okay, that's fine. I mean, your toes are across. He's got toes across. That's fine. All right, Lord McGuffin. Or Young McGuffin, sorry. Young McGuffin. Can you get right here? All right, just toes across. Perfect! All right, you guys did great. Um, Now, let me go ahead. Let's set them up. I think they should travel. So if they're starting here... For, okay, technically with the Sims pathing, they all should end up really close together. But it's really just going to matter who kind of cuts in front of who. So I think the finish line will be over here. So the first one to cross this finish line will be the winner. I'm going to have them all run this way. So I'm going to have them go here, go here, go here. All right. So they're all queued up at the exact same time. Are you guys ready? Please, once again, vote or cheer on who you want to win in the comments. Once again, we have Team McGuffin, who already is ahead with one point. Team Dingwall. And Team McIntosh. Once again, please vote and cheer on your tribute in the comments. They need your support, people. And on your marks, get set, go! Ooh, oh, oh, gosh, they're all head to head. Oh, but MacGuffin takes first place. Get it, MacGuffin. 
Okay, MacGuffin is going. Dingwall, hot on his hips. Macintosh really is sucking at these trials right now. Go, MacGuffin. MacGuffin's on his phone. He is that confident. But this could be a tortoise meets the hare situation as Macintosh could pull up a sneaky, sneaky get around. Oh, they passed the love bush. A real hard thing to pass up for Macintosh. Oh, we're moving in. We're moving in. And older horses. This could be a photo finish, ladies and gentlemen. MacGuffin! Macintosh, you were so far behind. <laughs> All right, guys. MacGuffin goes ahead and takes first place again. Now, since MacGuffin, I will say this. I will say this. MacGuffin did have a slight advantage because they all took the same route. That was technically closest to MacGuffin because it was an immediate right turn, which MacGuffin was farthest on the right. So do you guys want a rerun where MacGuffin is placed differently? Or do you want, um, just to see if MacGuffin truly had it, or are you guys satisfied with the results? Are you satisfied or would you like a rerun? Because MacGuffin did technically have the closest path. Not his fault. He chose the closest path. I wasn't 100%. I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about how the first turn they'd be making was a right turn. But uh, ye, ye for what? Rerun. I think he won fair and square. Rerun, fair and square. Satisfied. Best two out of three. Satisfied, satisfied, satisfied. He won fair and square. Satisfied. Rerun. Best out of three. Satisfied. All right, I'm going to say most of you guys are satisfied. So, MacGuffin gets another point. Dingwall and Macintosh far further down. All righty, guys. So, let me see here. The next competition will be for strength. So what strength activities would you guys like to see them participate in to show their strength? What is something they could do? And just to show you guys, I in no way, shape, or form um, rigged any of these competitions for the winner to be what I wanted because I'm letting you guys pick the competitions and you guys decide what they're doing. So I had no pre-planning ahead of time. Um, their traits are all randomized. So I didn't pick who was better skilled at what. So just so you know. I had no way rigged this. That's why I'm having you guys do all these things. All right. Throw or lift something heavy. We'll have lift weights. They all need a dirty dance and lift her. I think they could all, technically, if I did do the dancing mod, they would all be able to do the same thing. Oh, we could do, so you guys are also saying fighting or like boxing. For technically for like boxing, there is that um, machine that came with Strangerville that they can kind of fight. So I could, well, I'll, I'll call that one boxing, but it's the machine that they fight from StrangerVille. So I'll add that. It's so, it's so sad you don't have that little thing where they can hit the, the hammer like at the carnival. Oh my God, yes. They had that in The Sims 3. I wish we had that. All right, was there any other same competitions? Throw a log in the traditional Scottish way. I wish there was log throwing in The Sims. Do you know how cool that would be? If The Sims did like a Scottish inspired kit pack or no, a game pack. Because if they did Scottish games, could you imagine how cool that would be in The Sims? 
for like different skills, like their strength and endurance and like all of that could play into how well they perform at the games, like log throwing. And like they have to throw the hay bale over the the uh, the the high stake and stuff like that. Oh, and then we and we get actual kilts in the game for these men. I want a Scottish game pack or stuff pack. Thank you, Sims. <laughs> All right, so I think we're gonna go with these three things. Are they going to be lifting weights? Are they going to fist fight each other? Are they actually going to be fighting fighting each other? Or are they going to do the boxing machine that comes with Stranger Bell? Which I think all of that can take place back at the one place. So I'm going to have them go back over there. <laughs> Am I, a festival with Scottish foods like yes, haggis and stuff. Uh, sold at a stand? Amazing! That would be so fun. Wrestling! <laughs> oh no, Yao's still here. Yao, go away. You ruined the last competition. And you guys voted for, of course, fighting. So, I would like my Sims to resume their seats. Apparently, Bell didn't go far. And the other lords, I would like to come stand over here. That way they're not in my way. All right, boys. So tell me, guys, when it comes, since there's three of them, it's going to be an odd number. So since Macintosh is in the lead, should it be Dingwall and, I'm sorry, not young Dingwall, we Dingwall. Should we Dingwall and young Macintosh fight each other first and have MacGuffin be the one they fight? Or should we um, roll who's going to be fighting each other? So let me just, let me pull that up real quick. How should we determine who will fight each other first? Since there's three of them, it's an odd number. Winner fights Guff. Roll number order. All right, go ahead and vote, guys. Should the winner, should we Dingwall and McGuffin fight each other and or wing D, wing D wall <laughs> and young Macintosh fight each other and they, the winner will face off MacGuffin or should we just roll for their fighting order? Or roll undefeated. Maybe, maybe undefeated wins. Which would be the same thing. <laughs> roll for great day. <laughs> Oh, I miss, I do miss the Castaway Challenge. Castaway Challenge was so, so fun. Bye, Bounce! And... You guys have voted that win it was pretty it was pretty tight actually, but you guys voted that winner will fight MacGuffin. So Macintosh and Dingwall. So sorry to say you guys are gonna have to fight each other. Can they fight each other the way it is? They can rile up, but they can't fight fight yet. So how about this? Um let me just have them join a club real quick. <laughs> Fight club. <laughs> oh my goodness. There we go. And likes. Social fight. Only requirement for this fight club is that they fight. <laughs> 
All right, now should they be able to fight each other? I mean, malicious. No, not go away. Why? Where can they fight each other? I feel like that should just be an interaction they can just do now, right? Like they don't have to be enemies or anything like that to fight. Clubs. Oh, maybe I have to start a gathering. Gathering has been started. Mean. Malicious. No. Arguments. For how long? Dang it. Clubs. You clubs. Talk about. Talk about. <gasps> no, the full first rule. Don't talk about fight club. Club gatherings. Ask to start fight club gathering. The gathering has, oh, start gathering. Right? Club gatherings are not available here. Sims will have to travel to another venue in order to fight. What? Why do they have to go to another residence? Why can't they have fight club here? I thought club gatherings could take place at certain venues. Well, I guess they're going to have to go back home to finish Fight Club. Annoying. I hate how they get on their phone and run. It's so annoying. All right. Can I please start Fight Club? Thank you. Fight Club has begun. Macintosh. Ding wall. Mean. Arguments. Fight! There we go. All right, guys, please. I need you to, uh, to cheer for who you want to win. Whoever is going to land on their butt or obvious loser obviously is the loser. So, please, are you rooting for Wing Dingwa or Clan Macintosh? You cannot root for MacGuffin just yet. We are rooting for one or the other. Are we going Dingwa or Macintosh, people? I want to hear you guys cheering in the comments for your team. Let's go. And they're going in Dingwa with the first move. I feel like Dingwa went in uh, strong. Oh, Macintosh got a good punch in the face, but Dingwa got him in the back. But Macintosh got Dingwa upside down. Dingwa hits him. Macintosh got Dingwa in it. No, Dingwa's got Macintosh in a headlock. Oh, Dingwa's getting flung around. Dingwa! Dingwa! <gasps> Macintosh wins! Oh, Dingwa, I thought you had it. I thought you had this, Dingwa. You were going in so well, but Macintosh in the end. Bested Dingwall. Oh, this is a proud day for the Macintosh team. They have a point towards victory. Finally, Macintosh has earned their claim. Dingwall, honey, I'm so sorry. Now, Dingwall, I need you to move aside. <laughs> and Macintosh, you sweet, sweet baby boy. No, MacGuffin, sorry. MacGuffin, you sweet, sweet baby boy. It is your time. Once again, I need you guys to cry out in the comments. Are we voting for MacGuffin or Macintosh? Vote for your clan, guys. Scream out for your clan. Scream for MacGuffin. I think I'm 
voting for McGuffin. I like Macintosh. I think he's cute too. But I don't know. There's something about McGuffin. There's something about McGuffin. I think he could be a King Trident easily. Get him! Get him, McGuffin! All right. Pop up already. Come on. Oh, McGuffin. I don't know if that was an attack or got. Oh, McGuffin's got Macintosh in a headlock. Come on, McGuffin. Come on, McGuffin. Oh, he's got Macintosh in a headlock again. Macintosh is getting really beat around right now. Oh, my gosh. Oh, gosh. Where is it? <gasps> you guys! McGuffin cannot be beat! No one has bested McGuffin yet! McGoobs! McGuffs! Has another point. Oh, McGuffin! I, I did not know! How this is gonna go? I thought honestly the sim that was gonna win all these. I thought honestly was gonna be Macintosh for some reason, because you know he looks like that the sporty, a little schmidt. And then MacGuffin was such a sweet pea. Like in the movie, he's such a sweetie. Um, he's a little. <laughs> he has a very thick Scottish accent. Um, but he's such a sweetie. And Dingwall as well. Dingwall. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, now that it has come down to it, it is time for the archery portion of our competition. Which, how we are going to um, kind of do the archery competition is where they get one shot. The closest shot to the center of the target wins. So they are going to get one shot. The closest shot wins. And if they both tie, like say they both, they all miss or they, um, I just, I need one clear person that's better. So if they get the same exact shot, they'll go again. And I think we're going to have to do the closest possible targets because I think they all suck at this. So... <laughs> I don't know if that'll be in the way, so I'm gonna move that. All right, men. Line up. And I'm gonna take the dazed look off of Wee Dingwall. That way he doesn't have less of a look here. And then Merida will have you come stand over here. Oh, can they not make it over here? I I just tested this the other day and made sure it was walking. Walkable, but I guess not. Hmm. Guess I'm glad I didn't go for it. So now I have to teleport them all over here. Merida, please go stand here. Oh, all right. Guffin. And Macintosh. McGuffin, can you get a hair closer, please? All right. So we are going to do this in order of how it went in the movies. So McGuffin clan went first in the movie. So we're going to have McGuffin shoot first. We're just going to do the... Play archery for all of them. All right, MacGuffin, we believe in you. I think you got this, God. All right, just, yep, you keep stepping up to the plate. All right, oh, all right. MacGuffin takes his shot, guys. How is he gonna do? Okay, I'm nervous. I'm really freaking nervous. It's looking like it's gonna end high or it's gonna miss. Okay, MacGuffin scores. He hits the target, but he is high right. So let's remember that MacGuffin, high right, because I think as soon as I get rid of this, um, that's his only shot he gets. Yeah, it'll delete it. So he was high right. I wish it would stay in the same place that it did for like all of them. 
Then next is Macintosh. Yep, take take a couple steps. Line yourself. Make sure you line yourself up real good. Yeah, maybe one more. Oh nope, you got it. All right, Macintosh. Here he goes, lining up to the target. And oh no, it's either gonna hit the bottom of the target or it's gonna completely miss. Oh, Macintosh. Macintosh misses. So, if I remember correctly, MacGuffin in the movie hits, but he hits outside, which is how he did. If I remember in the movie, Macintosh hits, I think, better than MacGuffin but he doesn't like the shot and he throws a complete tantrum because he doesn't hit the tar like the center target. No, I think MacGuffin misses. I think MacGuffin missed in the movie. He hits the target, but it's outside because I think his dad screams, at least you hit the target. And then Dingwall, baby. Dingwall, you're up. If you do anything like you did in the movies, buddy. All right, McDingwall lines up. <laughs> Why do the ones I, lo I love always lose? <laughs> and Dingwall launches. <laughs> and Dingwall misses. So it is obvious once again <laughs> that Glam McGuffin takes another W. <laughs> McGuffin has just annihilated the competition. Annihilated the competition. So let me just go ahead and throw the standings up to you guys. We have Dingwall with a whopping zero points. <laughs> Dingwall with a whopping zero points. Then we have Clan Macintosh with one singular point because they did win one of the fights. And then we have MacGuffin with a clear the board all, every single competition, MacGuffin places first. MacGuffin did barely hit, but he did hit. Now, Merida, I think it's your turn to show these babies. MacGuffin, would you mind standing out of the way, sweetheart? Yeah, you let her go. Dang, well, uh, thank you. You can stop. Merida, baby, it's time for you to let your hair down and show these men what you're made of. And Merida, it is time for her to... Oh, nope, sorry, not that one. It's time for her to make her claim for what she wants, if she misses in this moment, I'm gonna die. <laughs> but it's time for Merida to stake her claim on what she wants. So after Merida hits this, if Merida hits better than MacGuffin, Merida gets to pick. If Merida does worse than Lord MacGuffin, she has to marry MacGuffin. <laughs> No, is that too bad? I think that's funny way to do it, but I still, in the end, I want Merida to have her choice. So I won't force her either way, but I thought that'd be funny that if Merida somehow loses this, <laughs> that she just has to marry Lord MacGuffin. But if she does better, I would like her to um, be able to choose, does she want Lord MacGuffin? Is she impressed by Lord MacGuffin and actually wants Lord MacGuffin? Or does Merida want to go out and pick her own suitor? So you guys tell me. Before I do this, I want to know your guys how you guys actually feel about this. If she hits better, she has the choice. But if 
our freaking level 10 archery queen does worse, misses, marries, Mac. Guff. I want you guys' honest opinion on what you think Merida should do. Because this is Merida. Merida's thing is that she has her own choices. That's the whole thing about her movie is she has a choice in this. But I do think it'd be funny if she loses an archery competition that she does have to suffer the consequences. Because she's an archery fiend. But I think it'd be funny. But I want you guys to know. I don't want to take over what you guys want. So if she hits better, she has the choice. But if she misses... Well, basically, in the end, what I'm saying is uh, for the choice one, she has a choice no matter what. But if she misses, she has the consequence if she just has to marry him. That's what I'm saying here. That's what I'm saying. Sorry, if that, if that doesn't make sense. If she misses, basically, she just loses the, the right to choice. But if you pick the choice option, she could just pick no matter what. All right, so you guys say no matter what, even if she misses, in the end, she still has choice. So even if Merida somehow does worse, she still has a choice in this. So you guys want her to be able to keep the right to choose. So I'm so nervous in this moment. Merida, please, please, please do better than these men, okay? This is the whole thing about your movie is you're better at archery than them. So, I hear that she hit the target. The suspense is killing me, guys. How did Merida do? <gasps> she hit dead on! I wasn't expecting her to actually hit the target dead on! <laughs> target i don't know i feel like i always saw her hit the edges or like just just right or just left of the target i don't think i've ever actually seen her hit the middle of the middle this was her moment merida this is why you're merida <laughs> she said watch this babe i gotta take my mustache i gotta oh. <laughs> i I, I'm genuinely, I don't think I could have planned that better. I don't think I could have planned that better. Oh my God, Merida, God bless you, sweetie. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is amazing. That is legit amazing. Wow, way to go, baby. I'm so proud of you. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do a poll on what you guys want Merida to do and who you want Merida to marry. So I'm going to have three of the poll options be Dingwall, Macintosh, and MacGuffin. So no matter what, for Merida, picking her three suitors, in the end, this will be who she marries. Um... So do we want Dingwall, Macintosh? How do I spell this last one? Okay, I would have got it right. Or MacGuffin, who MacGuffin did win a lot of everything. So in the end, he would be a good, a good fit. But I will still let you guys choose. Now, I need two other prospects. You guys have been saying that we should actually go get Triton. So I feel like Triton should be one of our suitor options. Like I actually go get Triton who I've made because the next, the next person that we, the next princess is Ariel. So do you guys want the actual King Trident to be the King Trident who Ariel fights with? Like it's a whole part of her story or you guys tell me who the other option for our future King Trident should be. It doesn't have to be Hobo Jesus. <laughs> 
Hobo Jesus. I would I would make Triton young for her. Yes, if we if you did pick King Triton, um, I would make him young. I would not make him start off with the gray hair. He's actually a redhead. Um, young Triton is actually a redhead. So don't worry, I would make Triton young. Um, I wouldn't just start him off being a weird looking old man. I would make him hot and young, King Trident. Um, but I will do Hobo Jesus as the fifth option. As her potential suitor. So, who do you guys want? Does Merida choose a Dingwall? Does Merida choose Macintosh? Sorry, let me do this again. For those of you that are having a hard time remembering which clan is which. So we have Dingwall. Does she choose a Macintosh? Or does she choose MacGuffin? Or should we go get King Trident, but make him young, obviously. Start him off as a young mermaid. Or do we go get Hobo Jesus? And by the way, whomever she picks, we're making into a mermaid. So even if you pick one of the, the actual three suitors, I will make him a mermaid. So just so you guys know. Just so you know, those are your options. Voting will commence here. You guys have 60 seconds to, oh. You guys have 60 seconds to go ahead and cast that vote. Dingwall, Macintosh, McGuffey, a young King Trident, or Hobo Jesus? <laughs> for those of you that haven't also been here for a long time and don't know who Hobo Jesus is, This is Hobo Jesus. For those of you who haven't been around and don't know who Hobo Jesus is, this is Hobo Jesus. Uh, but if we did Trident, no, sorry, Atlantica. Uh, this is my King Triton, which I would go make him young and make him a little hotter. Right now he's in old man form. I would make him young and hot, but this is my King Trident. But you guys, just for those who don't know who the other two options were. <laughs> And in the end, Dingwall had zero votes, Macintosh with seven, Hobo Jesus with 87, MacGuffin with 125, and King Triton with 242 votes. There you guys go. King Triton will be the future suitor of Merida. So, but how we will be playing out this story for the rest of tonight um, and going into tomorrow because we are 15 minutes away from the end of stream. So how this is going to pan out, guys, for next stream. For the rest of tonight, Merida's mom is going to be refusing this. Merida's mom is going to be telling her that she has to marry MacGuffin because MacGuffin won fair and square. By the way, I want Merida to be friends with all these guys, so I don't want any hateful hardships or anything like that. I just want her simply to just say no. Because in the end, she wants everybody to pick who they want to be with. So, MacGuffin technically has won Merida's hand. And that is who Belle says she should have to marry. So, he is going to be moving in with Merida and her family. Um, but Merida and her mom in next episode are going to be going on quite a little journey together. So, if you guys are looking forward to seeing all that please go ahead and leave a like um comment follow on me on all of my profiles i have a tiktok twitch and youtube my name is hayish mandy across all those platforms i will be uploading this episode up onto youtube within the next 24 to 48 hours depending on how fast i can get it up um and if you have missed any of the previous parts we have gone through quite a few generations of the disney princess challenge already we have gone through snow white cinderella tiana uh, Sleeping Beauty, Anna, Elsa, Rapunzel, Belle, and now we are on Merida. And then probably not next episode, but probably the episode after this next one, we will be starting Ariel. So probably next week we'll be on Ariel. Uh, because I imagine Friday we'll be getting into Merida, her whole thing with her mom, and then it'll probably be ending on her marrying and ha or at least maybe being pregnant with Ariel. And so how I imagine the timeline's gonna take. So 
yeah, that's probably where we'll be finishing off. And we only have about 15 more minutes of stream, but to me, this is a good place to end this because I'll have to do more prep work for the next thing to figure out, you know, what exactly is going to happen to Belle, Merida's mom. Is she going to have, what kind of a bear situation are we going to get ourselves into? So please go ahead and check out all those in the meantime. Friday will be my next stream at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So please go ahead and join us if you'd like to see how Merida comes to meet Triton, how she's going to reconcile with her mother, with the whole process of that. So join me for that next time. Like I said, go ahead, leave a follow, a like, a comment, depending on where you're watching this and what time it is you're watching this. I will be seeing you guys all uh, next time. It's the bare necessities. <laughs> But I look forward to seeing you guys all again. Thank you so much for all of you that have subbed tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you all so much for the follows. I really appreciate it. Thank you for another wonderful night. Also, I'm still riding on a high of Merida's last shot, literally being that target. That was too good to be true. Um, <laughs> I was very impressed. Very impressed by that. And we're going to end tonight by doing a raid. So let's get that going. Um, I could do West Coast girly. Let's do West Coast. I love her so much. All right, as soon as this raid is ready to go, I'm going to be peacing out. So I will see you guys all next time. Uh, see you guys all on Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll see you guys all then. I love you so much. Have a wonderful night. Bye! <laughs>